We will be drawing uh, Pikachu scientifically. Uh, I will be using this uh, geometric shape to build up the Pikachu. Uh, first, uh, the head. I will use the ellipse tool to draw a uh, circle. And then uh, I will draw a rectangle to be the base of the body. Um, so I'm a scientific illustrator. You know, like in the Pokemon world, they definitely also have scientific illustrators like me to create those uh, Pokemon decks, you know, otherwise, where do you get them? So if you're a creative scientist, uh, click that subscribe button to join this uh, community and uh, make sure you also follow my social media. Then I'll move the bottom anchor point of the rectangle uh, to make it a little bit wider. That will be where the Pikachu thighs be. And uh, here I'm just quickly checking if the uh, overall shape is uh, around the same width of the Pikachu. Apparently uh, it is a little bit fatter, so I need to make the body a little bit wider. I will uh, adjust the um, bottom anchor point of the circle and move it a little bit upward. So uh, we started to have the chin of the Pikachu and then uh, you see that I'm adjusting the handles of the two anchor points on the side uh, so we can start to have the overall skull shape of uh, our Pikachu. And for the top uh, anchor point, I make it a little bit wider so the head will not look like an egg. That's a Chansey, that's not a Pikachu. I will uh, make sure the body and the head is connected. Here I round the bottom two corners with the round corner widget. Uh, so uh, we will uh, start to have the thigh shape. And also um, I will uh, just uh, make these two anchor points smooth and then uh, make this uh, bottom line bending a little bit upward so we can have the see a little bit of the Pikachu butt you know <laughs> okay then we'll start to draw the feet and I'll just use the ellipse tool to draw a very narrow ellipse and then uh, I will rotate it a little bit like this and then I will uh, adjust the two ends of the ellipse a little bit to make the uh, tips a little bit flatter. So, you know, like we get to see the toes and the heels. Then uh, I will make a copy of it and just uh, reflect it vertically. Then I will start drawing the gear, uh, draw a very narrow ellipse. And then uh, I will um, adjust the handle on the top of the ear to uh, make it pointy so just uh, make the handles shorter then you can have that pointy and side is done uh, you can just make a copy of it and then uh, flex it as well then you get the other side then we'll draw the arm the arm is also based on ellipse so just uh, quickly draw a the ellipse and then rotate it a little bit and put it where the arms should be so if you're a creative scientist uh, click that subscribe button to join this uh, community and uh, make sure you also follow my social media, also stream on Twitch, so you can find all those links in the description below. So now our overall shape is ready. I'll just make a copy as the backup. Uh, that's uh, if I mess it up, I can always go back to the backup to check. And um, yeah, my ears are a little bit too close. So yeah, I'll just quickly adjust it before I proceed. Now I'll select all the parts besides the arms. And then I will use the Pathfinder tool to unite all these shapes so uh, then you will have the overall body of the Pikachu and I'll just quickly pick the yellow color from my color swatches over here on the left uh, you can find the hex code in the description below Then I'll apply a gray outline to the parts and uh, I usually use the darker gray I'll start creating the eye of the Pikachu as a straw circle and then skew these two anchor points a little bit uh, to the side and then uh, you can get that uh, eye shape and so uh, if you watch the Pokemon anime then you will notice that uh, usually they just use a black eye with the white highlight for Pikachu eyes because that can save them time in their animation production but here I make it a little bit uh, more uh, detailed I have the dark brown as the iris of the Pikachu and then uh, use the dark gray as the uh, pupil then i put a highlight on the eye and um, there's a little reflective eye in the corner of the eye so i create that by uh, just copying these two uh, the iris and the highlight and then uh, just use the pathfinder tool to intersect of these two uh, shapes then you can get that uh, 
side uh, reflection for your Pikachu eyes. Then reflect it, then you will get the other eye too. So now we will create the electric patch of the Pikachu. Uh, so just uh, quickly draw an ellipse and then uh, move at the anchor point of the side uh, a little bit inward then and you'll get that electric patch shape and also uh, just copy it and reflect it to the other side and uh, now here I'm adjusting the cheek of the Pikachu a little bit so uh, it will make it a little bit more puffy so now we'll start to draw the nose uh, it is essentially a, a round corner uh, triangle so I started with the rectangle and then remove one of the anchor point. Then uh, I will just uh, smoothen these anchor points uh, by clicking this button on the control panel. And you can get the Pikachu nose. Pikachu nose is quite small. So yeah, I'll just make it smaller and flatter. Then I'll create a Pikachu mouth. And just, uh, it's basically a oov shape. So yeah, just uh, use that, use your pen tool to draw a um, uh, like a W shape but with a uh, rounded uh, corner and make sure you go to the appearance tab to uh, give it a round cap and a round uh, corner so uh, yeah then it will mo look more like a mouth right uh, now uh, your Pikachu has a face uh, I will uh, create those uh, black tip of the Pikachu I just make a copy of the entire body shape uh, and then uh, I will uh, use the Pathfinder tool to intersect between this shape and the ear. And we need two sides so I make two copies of it and yeah just go to Pathfinder tool and uh, click on the intersect then, um, then you can have those tips. Here I'm just in the head proportion a little bit to <laughs> make it uh, look uh, more like a Pikachu. Uh, the proportion is very important so uh, make sure you uh, comply with the, your reference. It is really like drawing any uh, scientific illustration that you always need to have a scientific reference for you to uh, fact check. Now we will connect the arm with the Pikachu body. So I will just uh, add one extra anchor point here so then I can break the uh, break the outline at the right place. Uh, so that's what I do here. And then now you see uh, the arms are connected to the body. And I will now start to create some uh, shadow on the Pikachu. Here we need a round corner triangle uh, as the uh, shadow beneath the chin. So I'll just quickly create that. Put the dark gray in and then I'll go to the opacity to decrease the opacity to 20% then you will have that shadow under the chin. And we also need uh, some shadow uh, underneath the thigh. So uh, I'll just do the same thing. So now you see the Pikachu has a shadow underneath the thighs. And here uh, there's a detail uh, around the foot. Uh, make sure you also extend your shadow over there so you can give some volume to the feet of the Pikachu. Now I'll just quickly create the uh, tail of the Pikachu. So just draw like a thunder shape. There's a brown pattern. Now I'm adding a shadow to the tail. And uh, then let's give the, our Pikachu some fingers. Yes, Pikachu does have fingers. <laughs> he has five fingers. So uh, I will just add these uh, anchor points on the, on the tip of the arm. Then uh, you can just drag it out. Uh, then you can very quickly create the uh, fingers. Now let's give our Pikachu some toes. Uh, so uh, just quickly draw three lines over here on the tip of the foot and then uh, you have the toes. And I'm just quickly applying the shadows and onto the ear and the arms. And this is just like final uh, detail uh, implementation. So if you want to have an open mouth Pikachu that, that is happily looking at you, then just uh, quickly create the mouth uh, like this. This is how you draw Pikachu scientifically, and now you have your Pokemon to protect you on your way to publish your scientific research. Uh, let me know in the comments which Pokemon is your favorite Pokemon, and uh, subscribe to JawaMed to uh, join this creative scientist community. Give a thumbs up if you like this video, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the future videos.